Hi there. So I've got a cheap Geiger counter. I bought off eBay. And it was like 30 bucks, I think. And I've got a bunch of samples of various things that I'm going to test with it. This is approximately the background radiation level. It just, it's like about, I don't know, 25 or 30 counts per minute in this building. So what we have here is some uranium glass beads with tomato seeds mixed in that I would forgot about and I was doing an experiment irradiating tomato seeds to see if I could get them to do anything interesting. We have got a small vial of thorium oxide, allegedly. We have got four different alleged, what they call them, uh, quantum scalar energy pendants. Bought those off of AliExpress uh, specifically for this purpose of testing them. And uh, we're going to see what makes the Geiger counter go off. So here's the thorium oxide. Let's see how that works. It's got to be pretty much right next to the tube to, to make it do anything. Well, it gets a little bit of a reading here. Well, not a reading, but just a detection. So that's above background anyway. Let's move this over just a bit. So here's the uh, uranium glass beads. I think these are Czechoslovakian or something. With tomato seeds mixed in. Yeah, these are kind of hot, but they're not real super, super hot. If you put both these things on here at the same time, it's a little more accurate. Now, taking these two things off, Quantum scalar energy pendant number uh, seven. Let's move this farther away from the samples. These are things that they designed to wear up against your body, so of course it's not a good idea. It says it protects against RF, stuff like that, but so you're protecting against something that doesn't harm you with something that does harm you. That's odd. So this is slightly above the background level. I don't have any kind of quantitative measurement for that, but uh, take my word for it. This one. There we go. So the, it's got one of the sides is hot and one of the sides is not. So it makes a little bit. This one got four little weird looking things on one side of it. And I'm not so sure if, if a lot of this isn't just me touching it to the tube. But if I don't touch it to the tube, but it doesn't that's still got a little bit above the background. Now this one, I think this one's made out of uranium glass because it's got that look to it and it, it's fluorescent under black light and I would not want to wear that against my body for any extended period of time. And I don't think it's going to kill you, but it's, it's, it's high enough that it would probably have some health effects after a while. Once again, bear in mind that these things are sold as uh, this quackery where it's supposed to protect you against uh, 5G and deadly RF and whatever. Well, 5G is not going to kill you. This is. So don't buy these and wear them because they're bad. Well, that's enough of that. I'll see you in later.